Good morning, College Algebra students. Uh, this is Mr. Kashi speaking. In this video, um, we're going to talk about the characteristics of a hyperbola. Um, as you can remember, hopefully during uh, class, these can get a little bit involved, so I'm going to take this um, kind of slow um, and uh, just make sure that we understand where I'm getting all these numbers and um, where they go and things like that. So um, it says find the center, vertices, foci, and asymptotes of an equation. All right, um, and there are some uh, different things. So uh, we have x plus 3 squared over 25, and whenever the x comes first in an equation, um, that means that we're going to have a horizontal uh, transverse axis. Okay, so the, the both sides of the, uh, of the hyperbola are going to be pointing um, in the horizontal directions. So uh, the first things that we should find are h, k, a and B. Okay, so uh, in this case, H is going to be, remember, it's always the opposite of what you see. H is negative 3, and there is nothing behind the Y in parentheses, so that means our K is 0. Um, and then for A, we have the square root of A squared, right? So the square root of 25, so A would be 5, and B would be the square root of 16, which would be 4. Um, what we do need uh, for our focus is going to be a C as well. So hopefully you can see um, in the focus we need to find what our C is. <clears throat> and our C is going to be the square root of 25 plus 16. So 25 plus 16, so that would be 30 and then 41. And that would be... Um, <clears throat> that would be the square root of 41. All right, and we'll talk about what, uh, why we have that um, here once we get to finding the focus. So um, the first thing that we want to find is the center, which that's going to be pretty easy because that's just hk. So in this case, it would just be negative 3 and 0. The next thing that we're going to uh, find is our vertices. Okay, and our vertices... <coughs> If you take a look at your cheat sheet, for our x term, we have h plus a and we have h minus a, but our y term is always k. All right. So for the first one, we have h plus a, and then we have our uh, k term of just 0. And then the other point would be h minus a. Zero. So in the in the first points here, we'd have negative three plus five, which that would just be two zero, and we for the second point we have negative three minus five, which that would be negative eight zero, just like that. So those are our two vertices. Okay, we have something similar for our foci. Our foci would be um, you can see. We talked about a little bit before, h plus c and h minus c. So here we'd have negative 3 plus square root of 41, and then our k term of 0. Oh, sorry. And then our other point would be negative 3 minus the square root of 41. Comma zero, and I would just leave them like that. Um, you can plug that into Alex that way as well. Um, it's a little bit difficult when you're taking the square root of a uh, 41, which isn't a perfect square. Um, it's a little bit more difficult, um, but uh, I would just leave it in that form. Okay, um, we are going to need a little bit more room for the asymptotes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over. So if you take a look at your cheat sheet, we're going to be referencing this right here. Okay. So, um, and there's going to be two asymptotes. As you can see in the, um, uh, in the picture up here, you're going to have two different asymptotes like that that form our hyperbola. So um, I'm going to just move to the next page here, all right, and uh, kind of write out our, um, the equation. Um, this equation is in point-slope form. Okay, 
and there's two of them. That's where the plus and minus come in. So really, there's going to be two different equations. So the first one is um, is technically k is zero, right? So we don't have to put anything in there. So the first one is just going to be y equals um, four fifths because it's b over a uh, x plus three because we have a um, negative three, and then the other one is going to be y equals negative four fifths x plus three. Um, so the reason I did it on this page is uh, this is um, you you might be able to type this into Alex like this, um, but if they need it in slope intercept form, um, you're going to have to take this a little further. Um, where you're going to have to actually bomb the fort here, and you'd get uh, y equals 4 fifths x, and then here we'd have uh, 4 fifths times 3, which that would be uh, 4 times 4 times 3 would be, uh, that would be 12 fifths. And then over here, y equals negative 4 fifths x, and that would be minus 12 fifths. So um, go ahead and give that first one a try in black, but then if you need it in slope intercept form, just make sure to go that extra step right there. So um, I mean, do want to go through one more um, because we do have a, a different um, a, a different hyperbola because this one has a vertical transverse axis. Okay, so hopefully you can see that the y comes first up in our um, up in our equation up there. Uh, same process, we're going to want to find our H, K, A, B, and our C. So be careful here because the H is always with the, um, is always with, with the X, so our H in this case would be 4. Um, our K would be negative 8 because it's opposite of what we see there. Our A is still first, okay, so our, there'll be square root of 9, which is 3. And then our b would be square root of 49, which is 7. And then uh, to find c, we have to take the uh, square root of those two added up, so 9 plus 49. Um, and so that would be um, 58. And so our c would be the square root of 58. So now we have everything that we need, and then we can just run down our list here um, of how to find these different things. So uh, our center is just going to be our hk, so that's 4, negative 8. Our vertices are going to be, now this is where we have to be careful because this changed from last time. So our vertices are right here. So our h is going to remain the same, so that's going to be 4. But then our, um, our y term is going to be k plus a and k minus a. So here we have k, which is negative 8, plus a, and then for our second term we still have 4 in the x, and then we have minus a, like that. So our two vertices would be 4, this would be negative 5, and then we'd have 4 and negative 11, like that. All right, our foci. Right here is also going to have um, an x term of our h, okay. So that's going to be four as well, okay. And then we have k plus c and k minus c. So we have negative eight plus square root of fifty-eight. We have four negative eight minus square root of fifty-eight, like that. All right, um, so once again, um, we're going to do the asymptotes on a separate um, sheet. I'm going to move on here to, um, so this is important because it does have a small change. So we have y minus k equals plus or minus, now this one is a over b instead of b over a. And we have x minus h um, on that side like that, okay? So uh, we have two different, two different equations. 
So we have y minus our k of negative 8 equals 3 sevenths x minus 4. Okay. And then uh, over here, we have uh, y minus negative 8 equals, that would be a negative 3 sevenths x minus 4. Okay, so we got to clean these up a little bit. All right, so this would first of all be y plus 8 on this side. Um, and then I'm going to uh, bomb the fort here as well. So we have 3 sevenths x. And then we have 3 times um, a negative 4, which that would be um, negative 12. sevenths okay and then this is um, this is where it gets a, a little bit more um, difficult um, is we need to if we just needed to have something that had y equals uh, so I, I think Alex is going to have you uh, put that in as a y equals um, what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to subtract 8 on both sides so we'd get y equals 3 sevenths x, okay, but now we have a fraction, uh, negative 12 sevenths minus 8, okay, so uh, that's where you probably want to um, maybe use a calculator, uh, we have negative 12 sevenths, and then what we have to find out is, what is 8 in terms of sevenths, well, 8 times 7 would be 56 sevenths, okay, and so that would be a uh, negative uh, 68. So this would be negative 68 sevenths. I know that seems a little weird. Um, some fractions that uh, rather um, not helpful in this case, but um, really uh, that uh, that is how you would write it in slope-intercept form. So we're going to do it the same way over here, where we have y plus 8 equals. I'm going to bomb the fort or distribute that negative 3 sevenths in which that would be negative 3 sevenths x. Okay, now we have a negative times a negative. This would be a positive 12 sevenths. Um, and then what we would do is we'd have to subtract 8 on both sides. Okay, so we'd have y equals negative 3 sevenths x. And then we have a positive 12 sevenths minus 56 sevenths. So then that would be um, a negative 44 sevenths. Once again, you know, I would just use that as a calculator um, if you're a little rusty with your fraction work. Um, but uh, I just I, I feel like you would need to put this in slope-intercept form, and if you did, this I wanted to make sure that uh, we went through some examples on how to do that. Um, there will be another uh, another couple of examples on a different video on how to graph uh, parabolas.